Okay. All right, we are out at my uh, bee farm uh, right now, uh, the place where I regularly keep my bees. If you take a look at the close-up on the entrances of these hives, you can see the bees are flying in and out in full mass uh, ways and coming back with lots of pollen. So despite the lack of rain, the bees are still managing to find nectar and pollen, but they're probably not finding as much as they would if we'd had some rain. Uh, I would like to. Um, we're gonna go over a couple of quick things on how I handle things out at my bee farm. Let's take a walk up to the big double box here. You know? on, um, on the farm here, I use a pin method uh, to kind of indicate how I handle my hives. Um, I've used different color pins in the hive boxes to show the status of them. Uh, the green pins mean that I've got laying queen, everything's good. Uh, yellow means that there are queen cells. The hive is either in swarm mode, supersedure mode, or may not have a queen and they've turned some of the cells into queen cells. It's not necessarily an indicator of trouble, but it's definitely an indicator to keep your eye on it. A red pin indicates that the hive is in trouble. Either it has some issue with pests or it's queenless and there aren't any queen cells. There's something about it that's got it in a weak state. All of my hives from cutouts, when they come to the bee farm, get marked with a red pen, even if I know I have the queen, because the stress of a cutout is so bad that you don't know what's uh, necessarily going on with the hive and you have to keep an eye on it. White pin means I've put a queen cage in there and that you know they're gonna be releasing her or I should release her within a couple of days. Also to check to make sure that they've accepted her. Um, black pin. Uh, now this is a little different. This means that the hive is relatively healthy and I've either done a split with it and it needs a queen or it needs to go 24 hours without a queen. Um, I'll put the black pin on to remind me to put the queen in this cage and stuff. Usually that's from doing a split. Blue pin. You will often see this in accompaniment with a green pin. Uh, that's about the only way I do it. Blue pin means that this hive is bursting at the seams and is ready for another box. Uh, that's also a good indicator. Uh, green pins are nice, but green pins with blue pins means I need to get some boxes together and build some things up. So we're going to take a look at a couple of the hives here that I'm uh, curious about. Not every one of them, but some of them, to see how their status is going. I have one hive here that I'm particularly concerned about. It was from a cutout, and the last time I looked in it, it had a laying worker, or laying workers. And that's the problem with that is that there was no queen, but there were queen cells in it. So I let it be so I could see what would happen kind of as an experiment. I don't mind if I lose this hive because for me, it's going to educate me about something. If the queen cells that are in here cause when they happen, when the queen hatches, to cause that queen to take over for the hive, in spite of the laying worker, that would be very cool. Not always likely to happen. They could handle it like a swarm and just kick her out and stuff. But I'm going to be interested in seeing what happens. This hive has some pollen in it, um, not much else, so it's been in there for a little while, so it's not a great indicator of what's going on in the hive, except to show that it's not overtly healthy. There's some honey in here, there's a queen cell that either hatched or was just a dummy cell. There's not a lot of small hive beetles, there's no sign of wax moth, so that's good, but you know, what I'm looking for is hopefully brood. I got drone cells, just a few, but not a lot. I got dead bees at the bottom of this one too, so I'm not real optimistic on its health. I could shake the bees out and stuff, but I, like I said, I'm trying to find stuff out here. Yeah, all I've got are drone cells. I have a small larval cell, let me see here. I got a couple of small hive beetles in this frame. Um, I either got, yeah, I possibly got some larval cells from the laying worker. Thought I might have had something else, but I'm checking. See, I, I got queen cells on here. I got one right there that you probably can't see very well, but it hasn't hatched yet. Um, there were two others. They look like they may have hatched just recently. So my status is kind of unchanged from when I looked at this box two weeks ago.
See, there are a lot of drones on the frame too, which is the other sign that it's laying worker. And they haven't been building as much comb as they would had they had the queen. So I'm not thrilled with how it's going, but it's an experiment, so I have to accept the results one way or the other. It's not kind of like I get to sit there and force the results unless I, I do something to change the setting, and I really don't want to do that right now. I just want to kind of let nature be in order to learn something. I'm going to put the box back on. Box lid back on. I use top entrances, as you can see. That comes in handy. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to leave the red pin on that. I'm not going to change it. Uh, I'm going to leave it be as is. I want to take a quick look at this box. This is from another cutout. They were doing decently. So we'll take a look and see how they're doing now. Now they're doing pretty well. I only uh, had a few frames of comb when I did this cutout to start with. I didn't even have a full box. And uh, they're now up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight frames of comb that originally start off as close to like four frames of comb. It's a little bit on the burry side in that they put a couple of frames together. But hey, you know what? They're bees. We're not gonna get too upset about that. We have to make the adjustments we will. That's not too bad. I like where it's going. No, Not a lot of dead bees at the bottom of the box. Um, there's actually just a few pieces of, of comb down there, small pieces that they've either chewed off or done something with. There's brood on the frames, that's good. They're building new comb to, and they've attached the old comb to it. They're gathering honey and pollen. Doing very well. Doing very, very well. And uh, see, they've taken a little advantage of the, a little bit of the space and stuff here to build some burr comb, but that's not too bad. I can straighten that mess out a little bit later on. I just want to kind of check on these guys and leave them alone after I check on them, because, uh, you know, we want them to build up. I may uh, see what I can do to institute a little bit better on the comb building in the lines as things go by, but right now, they're doing pretty good. I got no reason to mess with them in any sort of heavy duty way. So we'll leave that as a red because they don't have a full 10 frames built out yet. That's kind of my my indicator for a hive that still got some work to do. Now, come on over here. We're gonna see something a little different. On this one, you'll notice I've got an excluder on the entrance. The reason I have the excluder on the entrance is this was a cutout from a week ago. And so what I did is when I did the cutout, I managed to see and catch the queen successfully. I know she's in this box, or at least she was when I did the cutout a week ago. Problem is when you do a cutout, bees are very likely to abscond. So I use a queen excluder as an includer. It forces the queen to stay in. All the bees could fly out, land on a branch, and if the queen stays behind, they're all gonna fly right back to the box. Um, we got the bees coming in and out. Traffic's looking pretty good. We're gonna take a quick look on the inside and see how it's doing. This one was also one that didn't have a full set of frames. It was a very small cutout. Look at that. See, and I don't mind seeing that. That's a good sign. That means the bees are, are in a communal state for me. That means that they're gonna be building and stuff. Things are going pretty well. See, the bees are on the comb doing pretty good. These were small pieces of comb too. It was not a very large hive, so anything that they do to build up is a bonus for me. Anything at all. Look at that. They are just, they're festooning here, so they're building more comb. They're covering this frame. That's nice. That's very nice. I'd like to see some more brood in there. So I'm gonna take a look real quick. Yeah, I got brood all over this frame here. That's good, and, and they've built this out. I can see new comb being built on it. That's good. 
Not a lot of small hive beetles. That's very cool. Um, I'm going to put this back. We're going to put the frames back, and we're just going to leave it alone. Let them do it. They're doing fine. Ain't broke, don't fix it. What I will do is because they seem pretty well established is I will unscrew the excluder off of this so that they can uh, be a little bit more free about how they're doing stuff. So that's pretty good. Okay, 